Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Julia Davis Kelly was mistress of Melrose from 1873, the year of her marriage, until 1883, the year of her death from tuberculosis. Born in 1846, she was the only surviving child of George Mallon and Elizabeth Davis and grew up in the family's imposing Natchez townhouse known as Choctaw. In 1866, Julia's father purchased Melrose from John McMurnan, probably as a home for his daughter. After the Civil War, it appears that Julia spent time at a finishing school in New York City. While in New York in 1870, Julia went shopping. At where else? Tiffany's, then located at 550 Broadway. Julia purchased this coral and gold brooch and matching earrings, and according to the receipt, paid 250 for the set. Indeed, a princely sum at that time. This photograph shows Julia wearing the set. Three years later, Julia married Dr. Stephen Kelly of New York, whose family had ties to Natchez. Dr. Kelly's father, Richard, had founded the Fifth National Bank of New York. After their marriage, the Kellys divided their time between his family home and Melrose. Recently, descendants of Julia Davis Kelly donated the jewelry, along with the original receipt and Tiffany box, to the Natchez National Historical Park. Today, this jewelry and the rare surviving accompanying documentation are prized pieces of the park's collection. My name is Alexandra Remick, and I am a park guide at Natchez National Historic Park, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.